like they're both very experienced fighters and they know I mean that gives, uh, might give them a slight advantage but Pro boxing fans here in London Joe Joyce how will you say it's been a, it's been a minute how's things how's life yeah life's good back in camp back to the grindstone back to work like it's uh, but here in the UK training with Steve Broughton and uh, Cameron so I'm um, yeah gonna be sh having a show down in Birmingham which, which is gonna be cool and um, box there before I haven't been there before I don't believe but yeah should be should be good Cash Ali's opponent obviously we know what Cash brings to the table I was speaking to Daniel he said listen I, I said listen on your left hand side is Joel uh, he goes let him build himself back up man uh, how much do you want to just get back into the mix we see what's happening in Saudi with all the heavyweights how much do you just want to be back up there yeah, but I like I've had back-to-back -back hard fights, so it's good to have uh, you know a slightly easier one. But the, but I'm not not writing like um, not writing off cash because he he like you know he's a good fighter. I shared I remember I shared rounds with him. <laughs> like I got put uh, yeah, but yeah. So I think it's going to be a good fight and um, it would be exciting. I've got I've got exciting style and he's a decent boxer, so. It'd be good to to get back in there, get a nice win, and then um, then there's like plenty of options and different fighters to choose from as well. So I've built myself up to this level, so I'm, there's no chance of me really retiring right now. I've still got a lot to do, and I, I never said I was going to retire. When I say I'm going to retire, that's when I'm going to retire, not when people say to me to retire. You know what I mean? Uh, final one before I do let you go. I know you've talked to a lot of media, and do you want to go? Usyk, Fury, we know what's happening with that, with the big cut. Um, just talk to me about that. Is the advantage Usyk now, such a big cut, he's a couple of months out, uh, there's a bit of scoring tissue leading him to that fight. Usyk maybe targets that eye now going into that fight. Do you yeah. feel that's the case? Yeah, that would be the obvious thing, but you never know what... Uh, that they're both very experienced fighters and they know... I mean, that gives, uh, might give him a slight advantage, but he's like... Fury's like taller, the bigger man, he's, he can... Um, Move his head very well. So, but then, like, it's a, it's like two top level fight, two top level fighters who've been in the game like all their lives. So, um, it's just been postponed. So, I'm, I'm just waiting for the, for the actual undisputed fight. May 18th. May 18th. Not too long. Finally, actually, AJ and Gone a couple of weeks time. Do you feel like Ngannou can cause an upset here, or do you think AJ should beat Francis? Whoa, I think. Mate, mate, the best man win. I think they got like quite, you know, they got quite similar. I don't know. Obviously, Joshua's way more experienced in boxing, but in Garnu, come on, in in UFC, and uh, also he started in boxing, and he's got great power, and he showed, you know, showed everyone what he's made of with a fight against uh, Fury. So yeah, I think it's been a good fight, man. It's, I think I'm 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 looking forward to it. Vicky, George, it's always a pleasure, sir. We'll see you at Fight Week in Birmingham. Um, 